Well, here we are again. Let's work out to do this on the Casio calculator. So we've got to find the standard deviation for that set of data. Turn your calculator on. Go to the menu. Choose statistics. If there is anything in the columns, get rid of them. That's F6. Delete the column. Yes. Go across with the cursor key. F6. If you need to, delete the column. F4. F1. Gone. Right, we've got a blank table. So we need to put in the X values 5, 7, 22 and 30. 5, Now what we need to do is get where it says um, calculate on F2. So we need to press F6. Now get calculator, calc F2, check the setting. Here we've got the setting. Our X numbers are in list one, correct. Our frequency is in list two, incorrect. We don't have a frequency. We only have one of each value. So hover over that with your cursor key and press F1. There we go. Now we can press one variable and look for the standard deviation. If we see here the one that says sigma x, that's the population standard deviation and sx is the sample standard deviation. If you were after um, the mean and the mode and things that we looked at last lesson, we can scroll down using this cursor key, just remind yourself there, um, the Q1 is the lower quartile, the Q3 is the upper quartile, the median is 14.5, um, and the mode, well, the mode, it's given, the mode is 5, 7, 22 and 30. That's because there's only one of each, so they're all as popular as each other.